Who doesn't love Ireland and the Irish culture? If you ever get a chance to come and see the Cliffs of Moher in person, you should do it. But I want to take you to a place they call the 33rd County of Ireland. It's in New York in the great northern Catskills of Greene County. It's East Durham. And I'm going to jump back across the Atlantic and show you that now. We made it to East Durham in the great northern Catskills of Greene County. This is a true Irish community with such a welcoming culture. I want to show you around this destination, so let's go together. I'm at Angel's East Cafe. They're right in the center of East Durham. They have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but I'm going to dive into this epic-looking breakfast. Let's go. Irish Benedict, here I come. Mmm, that's amazing. So there's a large variety of accommodations all around this town, and I'll show you some of the different types. People might know the Shamrock House for the live music that they host, especially during Irish Festival. You'll find a lot of people are staying here. But as we journey through the day, you'll see lots of different types of lodging. So at Blackthorn Resort, they have a little bit of everything. They have rooms you can stay in, they have a campground here, they have a restaurant, they have a pub, but they also have a huge property for you to explore. And during the summer on Tuesday nights, bring the family, because they have fireworks. For a traditional Irish breakfast, you come to McGrath's. In addition to that amazing breakfast, McGrath's also has rooms you can stay at, very oftentimes live music, but they have a pub you have to see. Come with me. Some of the best riding in the Northeast is right here in the Great Northern Catskills. Today I'm going to show you the Durham Valley Scenic Byway and the Cat's Tail Ride. You ready, gentlemen? And you can come to Hollow Farms and stay with a full family farm experience where you can pet these little guys all day. So this is Yellow Deli. There's actually Yellow Delis all over the world and there's one right here in the East Durham area. And they have this philosophy where these are really run by a community and they just celebrate good food and peace and a calming atmosphere. So this is like a vibe and a place for good food. I'm gonna get a sandwich coming. So this is Our Lady of Knock Shrine, and like many things in this area, it was gathered from pieces from Ireland. The stained glass windows and all of the monuments all came over from Ireland. This is a community church. This is a place of worship, and you can come in here every day. They do hold mass once a week, but just to come in this building and hear kind of the nothingness, the quiet, and just sense the presence here, it's beautiful. I've talked a lot about how authentic of a cultural destination East Durham is for this Irish feel and this Irish vibe. When you want something to take home with you, come into Guaranteed Irish. They have the food, the jewelry, the souvenirs. That one special thing you bring home with you is likely to come from right here. So this is Lawyer's General Store. If you've forgotten something and you just want to grab it real quick, pop in here. They also have fabulous sandwiches and Club, which is an Irish orange soda. This is so tasty. If you want a place to cool off for the day with the family, come on down to Zoom Flume Water Park. They have rides for all ages and food on property, so you can spend most of the day here. I'm going to go throw on my bathing suit and jump on these slides. This is another type of lodging experience here. I'm at Gavin's Irish Country Inn, and this is a multi-generationally run resort, and it's an all-inclusive resort for the whole family. So this is a perfect place to end the day. This is five state lookout. If you want to get up early, you could begin your day up here, but bring up a cold one. Have some food and just enjoy the view. It's beautiful. So you can pop into Nelly's restaurant for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or the full bar. They're the sister property of Gavin's. Don't stop shopping before you pop in here because they have items imported right from Ireland, which is really neat. I also want to introduce you to their scones and Irish bread mixes. Put this in your bag for the way home because this is a taste of East Durham. 
I'm on the grounds of the Michael J. Quill Irish Cultural and Sports Center, and there's so many things on this property. The Irish Festival happens here, and I'm gonna take you inside. There's also a beautiful 9-11 memorial and the largest map of Ireland anywhere in the world right over my shoulder. A cottage that's over 200 years old. It was shipped from Ireland across the ocean right to this property. Let's check this out. This is easily one of my favorite parts of this cottage. They have just reinstalled an authentic thatch roof. This is how it would have been 200 years ago. If properly dried and installed, it's perfectly waterproof. And this just takes me right back. You have to come and see this. So there's a lot of really great places to eat, but I want to introduce you to a special one. It's called Five Furlongs Tavern, and it's in a building that has memories that go back to the 1830s when it was a rail depot. But they have that tavern atmosphere, a really great restaurant, and then this outdoor space for live music and just to spread out and enjoy the evening. Let's check this out together. So when you're in East Durham, make sure you have some classic Irish fare. I've got an Irish brew, and I've got a shepherd's pie, and I'm digging in. So we've had a great time here in East Durham in the great Northern Catskills. We want you to bring your family, bring your friends. The community vibe here is so strong and of course the Irish culture. So in that vein, Garrett, the last thing I need is to know how to do an Irish toast. Well, back home they say slancha, which means good health. Slancha, good health. Slancha. Yeah, that's good. Uh. <laughs>